What's up everyone, my name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a huge fan of the Adafruit Feather series. There's a ton of different uh, microcontrollers and sensors and breakout boards and all types of things. And it's just super useful for prototyping. I've used them in a number of projects. I just finished up a huge, quick project using them so I didn't have to develop a board. And it was in my ornament project and I basically prototype with them because they're just so useful and they're a great form factor. I love them. So I've made this actually really simple board. Got one right here. And uh, it's for prototyping with them. So instead of using a breakout board, you can actually just use this. So I'm gonna put one together. I'll show you how to use it. And uh, yeah, it just makes it simpler to put together. Anyways, let's go. So right now I'm just going to put together a little housing that can be 3D printed right now because these are kind of meant to be mounted inside of a box or they're kind of for like quick deployment if you want to just test something out in the field. You've got the battery mounted on. I'm kind of on a tangent of using these 18650s on all of my boards because they're so useful and available everywhere. And uh, yeah, you can mount it and then you can flywire different sensors to it. So I'm gonna put this together and then we'll get it printed while I am soldering one of these. Okay, well that is uh, printing. I'm gonna go put together one of those boards and then we'll play around with it, test it out. So there's really only like, what, four components on this. Uh, there's a couple of buttons. You've got the headers. So I think 16 pin header and a 12 pin header. Two resistors just for the voltage divider if you want to measure the battery capacity. Battery holder for the 18650. These are pretty handy. So. It's uh, just a bunch of simple soldering. So, why did I make this? Well, I know there's already a few really useful uh, development boards for the Feather. Uh, Adafruit has a couple, like the Doubler and the Tripler, which are really useful for stacking these uh, different feathers or different wings for the feathers. Um, but I always found that for things that didn't exist, I was always using a breadboard like this. And the thing is, you can't really mount them and I'm a huge fan of using the 18650 instead of the wired batteries just for the sake of mounting and not puncturing them and having all that. So this is really secure. This can be mounted inside of a housing and yeah, it's basically like a breadboard designed just for the feather. So why don't I do a couple of examples of what you can do with this just so you have an idea and why it's so useful. So what I did for this first example is I took one of these uh, small OLED screens that just need like a couple of wires, uh, it's an SBI connection, and then I just set it up so it's actually running old firmware from another OLED hardware thing I did. And all it does is just gives you the uh, battery percentage here. So let's do one more example and then the, the print should be done so we'll set it in and set it up. So this time I swapped out the M4 board for an ESP E266, which is the exact same form factor because they're all feathers. I attached the DHT11 and then just wired it up easily and made a quick program that just makes a web server. So we'll go get that print once it's finished. We'll install this inside of it and then we can put that wherever we want and we'll have our own wireless temp sensor. So 
So we got that installed directly in the sun. That's where you want a temperature sensor to be. So if we go inside and check the uh, computer, you can see that we get a temperature reading from the ESP8266. Also get humidity. Cool. So that is the wind feather breakout board. And as you can see, it's set up to have threaded inserts. I didn't print any lids yet, but uh, I'm going to make a couple of different ones. An open one, um, a closed one, one maybe with button access, one maybe with screen access and switches. That's the uh, cool thing about this, is you can kind of modify it to your application, but you don't have to do much in terms of circuit design. You can just kind of put your uh, what other feather you're using, you can stack them if you're using like RF and then you can use whatever sensors don't exist yet. And it's a great way to like deploy this thing and it could potentially be you know a little station somewhere and yeah set up a little solar panel, do all kinds of things. So you know the deal, you can find all this stuff on GitHub, there will be all the files, the links to the STL files for 3D printing things, making your own circuit board or even ordering them from PCBWay, from my account, that gives me a little bit of a kickback so I can do more stuff for other projects. So yeah, uh, if you like these kinds of projects, hit that subscribe button and consider becoming a patron because my patrons directly influence the amount of projects I'm able to do. I know I haven't released a video in a while, I've got some cool projects coming. I was really busy with uh, business projects, other people's projects, things like that, so I wasn't able to do too much on my own. So I'm going to start getting into that again. We're also moving, so I'm going to be uh, setting up a new house and a new house workshop, and that may take some time as well, but uh, it's going to be totally worth it. It's going to be so much better. So yeah, anyways, everyone, you know the deal. Be good and have a good day.